Welcome to Preston Raspberry Jam. Now as I look around, there's, there's lots of new faces tonight. There's people that haven't been here before. It's not normally this stupid or random. I am, but the whole event isn't usually. So we meet here on the first Monday of every month. And now we've tried to make sure that every month we always meet here. So even though we've just had an event in Manchester over three days where about 650 people have been, and that's like taken up my life for the last three months, um, we still have to have tonight's Preston Raspberry Jam because we say that we always have them on the first Monday of the month. Oh, by the way, uh, we have another one in March. We have one on the 31st of March because the Monday and the 1st of April, sorry, the 7th of April, the first Monday in April is actually in the Easter holidays. And I th somehow I thought it might be better to have it like on the 31st. So you need to make sure you know that. So my name is Alan O'Donoghue. Um, we, we, started Prest we started Raspberry Jam here in Preston and now the jam is spread out all over the world. So we have it in Melbourne, Manchester, Sydney, Cambridge. Um, somebody, somebody was talking about setting one up in Malaysia. We'd have them in Tokyo. And it, it, each month when we come together, we normally get a few people to come up and they say, can I tell you about something I've done? So they tell us something that they've just done recently. And then we, it's, it's not all just about yak, 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 yak. We then do some hack, hack, hack as well later on. So we've got lots of Raspberry Pis set up at the back of the room. Some of you have brought your Raspberry Pis, I saw. You came along. Yeah, we've got one set over there with Minecraft on. Yay, Minecraft. And, um, but tonight I've brought along prizes as well. And I, just, I went mad. I went to Asda and I bought loads of cake and cookies. And somebody else went mad and brought a cake along as well. What's your name? Lucy. Lucy. Big, big cheers for Lucy. Yay. We all love Lucy because Lucy's brought like a proper cake. Did anybody else bring cake? Shame on you. Oh. Mini <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, would you mind if I just give a special prize to Lucy, but not for the Battenberg? Is that okay? Your special prize for bringing a Battenberg is you can have two slices of Battenberg. Okay. So, Lucy, um, if you go online um, and send an email within a week of receiving this, you can get a free ebook up to the value of $60. Actually, $59.95. Okay. So, no starch. They do lots of books about like Scratch and Minecraft and all that kind of stuff. So, so now you can get a free ebook. Now, we're having more competitions and prizes, and I've got lots more stuff to give out tonight. We're going to have lots of games as the evening goes on. We have pin the leaf on the pie. You can see I've got two leaves on my hat at the moment. Well, Dave, who's doing that? Who's doing leaf on the pie? Not sure. So we think there's a switch on the left of the door. Just press that switch. That's it. You failed the initiative test. So what happens is you go to pin the leaf on the pie. They put a blindfold on you. You have to spin around. And then, so make sure that everybody gets a go on pin the leaf on the pie tonight because the two adults and the two children with the best score, they win prizes as well later on. We've got some other activities happening as well. Um, I forgot to bring it. I had a, a Raspberry Pi badge on the last few days. It was made out of hammer beads. You might have seen some pictures of it. But I've brought lots of hammer beads tonight. If you want, you can make a badge. You don't have to. You might just think, beads, Bleh. don't want to do that. But that's up to you. But they're all over there. Please. If you're using beads, don't have lots of beads all over the floor because somebody's going to have to pick them up later on and I don't want it to be me really. Um, we've got some birthday cake and do you know what? I think our candles might look better on your cake, Lucy, than on the one I've brought, even though I know you've gone to all that um, effort. <laughs> so later on we'll all sing happy birthday because we did some feedback from the Jamboree. People said, there was no birthday cake with candles, so we'll do that tonight. And what else are we... What have we got? So, um, Dave, what, what's this that's running over here? Display system that I got over last time. And you've got lots of videos from the, ram the Jamboree that's running on there. Videos and a few pictures okay. So after the lightning talks, we'll have some people who've brought stuff along that they can talk about or get help with. But I've got a little challenge tonight. Uh, there's also prizes for because I've brought some of these along. Okay, is there one on, oh, there's one here. Okay, so what this is, this is a special souvenir little, it's a, it's a PBC. Why are you laughing? Because I'm an old joke. Okay, so this is called a printed circuit board. We call it PCB. Do you know how to spell PCB? You do. 
You don't know how to spell it? That's right! And how old are you? Seven. You're seven. So I wonder why um, a 42-year-old and a 17-year-old couldn't, couldn't spell it. Because under here it says, actually says PBC. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll see, if you don't spell... What? Dyslexia rules, K-O. Yeah. So that's, is that how you spell OK? K-O. So what happens is if you stick this onto a Raspberry Pi, you can actually make the little LEDs. That one lights up automatically, but you can make these ones flash. So, the, so what I'd like to see tonight is some people make their LEDs flash. You'd have, you might have to do a search online, you might have to go on Twitter. Gordon Henderson, he tweeted something the other day, it's got like loads of code, how you can use wiring Pi to do that, but you might need some people with technical expertise. Um, Andrew, that's Andrew Mulholland, he also tweeted something. So lots of people have been sharing examples online of how you can make them, L so it's a little challenge. <laughs> if you can make them flash, you get to keep it. Okay, so you have to earn that reward. Some people have already got one of these. Now, you've been listening to me talk for a long time. In one minute, I'm going to stop talking, and then I need some volunteers to say, oh, can I tell you about something that we're doing at the moment? So I'll sit down, and we, if you want, we can look at a web page, or we can leave them on, or you can, and you can just stand and talk to us about something. So be thinking in your head. Now, the Raspberry Pi, little computer, two years ago, 29th of February, Everybody could go and order them, except nobody could. Because they were all, there was supposed to be 10,000 all released, and lots of people wanted them. They got up really early in the morning and they couldn't. But that's when we say the Raspberry Pi was born. On the 29th of February 2014, when was that, Regan? The 29th of February 2014. Never. It didn't exist in this year because it's not a leap year. So we celebrated our birthday in Manchester on the 28th of February, and we've had three days of fun. We had a hack day on Saturday. Some people came to the hack day. Did you come to the hack day? Yes? I recognise some faces. You came to the hack day. Was it okay? It was very good. Thanks. It was really good. Who came to Manchester? Lots of people. What, what, did, did you do anything in Manchester or did you just sit in this? A couple of workshops. Uh, Which one did you do? I did, the, uh, did two or three Thursdays. I was there on the Friday. Oh. I was supposed to be coming on the Friday for the hard work. That's, that's my strength. But so what did you find out to do in a workshop? Well, um, basically a couple of different types of software. Right. Uh, and just the uh, lights flashing. Right. Like okay. And what did, did you get to do go to any talks or anything or when you were there? Okay. Right. So it's time now. Who's our first volunteer to do a lightning talk? We need somebody to step forward and say, yeah, I've got something. It could be you could talk about your hat and how you made your hat and what your inspiration was, because we're having a hat competition as well. 